It's the one. It's the only. Besides for Kevin Costner, the second star of this movie, The Boat. Hey, Toy Fanatics, I'm here with another review, obviously. Kevin Costner, um, the only line that I really have of Kevin Co well, I have two, actually. I've got Robin Hood and I've got Waterworld. Now, obviously, Robin Hood had not a boat in it, so we're guessing it's Waterworld. That's right. We're looking at Kenner's Waterworld, one of his vehicles. Now, big star of the other show. Once the boat was gone, we felt like in the movie there was a huge loss. We are actually talking about the Trimoran. This guy right here. I've had this thing since uh, like September of 2021, and I have yet to open it. And I'm I'm ready to break this out of the box, check it out, and get to playing because I've really been wanting to see this particular vehicle out of package for a while. But before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that big old red subscribe button. Like this video, it helps YouTube know that you like what I'm making. Hit that bell for notifications so you can be alerted to anything that comes from me to you. And be sure to comment down below because I love commenting back to you all. So what do you say? Let's get into it. Okay, and this is our water world trimaran now if you look it's got that beautiful water world logo up there so we see that this is a part of kenner's water world line and then we get this nice box art here that actually shows your main characters and like the atoll enforcer there and they are actually toys but in the drawing form itself it's kind of a big box i'm having to change this up a little bit because i'm having some troubles with my computer so I'm having to kind of work backwards here, so you have to work with me. Uh, it does boast it has a 21 high inch mass that is huge. Assembly is required, and it shows that this converts to a fast attack combat ship. And I mean, just look at the detail in the photo. We've got this nice kind of rich blue for the ocean there that sets the trimaran apart from the uh, the background. We get the Mariner there with the, the launchers and everything, and then the Atoll Enforcer as well. It's a good looking ship. Now, from there, let's go ahead and flip over to the back. Now on the back, we see that we've got lots of blurbs about what all this does. It says, Waterworld the Trimaran converts a fast attack combat ship. And it gives a little descriptor here about the story, which I, I kind of dig. We see that we can take out attackers with two firing spear launchers, which is pretty cool. And it looks like those spear launchers actually like move up and down on this, uh, this catamaran just a little bit. Something I noticed, these missiles actually look like uh, some of the missiles that were used in the Predator toy line. So we might do a comparison on some of those parts to check those out. We also see that we've get this uh, swing into swing our hero in action uh, with a it's like a rigging line that pulls up, and I believe that actually pulls back and attaches over here to our control panel. We get our spinning power blades for cruising mode. So like when he was diving underneath, he has the kind of the windmill going in order to um, to keep the ship's uh, electrical components going. We get a release cell and boom from the decking, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to check to see how that is. And we extend the mass to 21 inches for fast attack mode. So this will be, I think, just such a cool, cool, cool playset to to pull out and to get to check out because, you know, they don't really make them like this anymore. Now, uh, on the tops and bottoms and the sides, they pretty much just have the trimaran and then it says, you know, um, it says the trimaran has the Waterworld logo, contains one vehicle, and then has a picture of our ship, which is the actual toy picture. Nothing really new on the side panels and such. So that's the box. And the box isn't gonna tell us anything else about this. We need to get this one out and get to plan. And I think for this one, we might open it firsthand right here. Now I have this side open here. Let's see. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. oh feel the power. I'm going to hold on to that box because that is a good looking box. We get, of course, our Trimoran. Um, not intended for water use. <laughs> Place it here. Talks about how we're going to put it together. Talks about how the pieces work and everything. The assembly. Oh, wow. This is going to be cool. I can already sense it right now. Wow. And then we got all these parts. So I'm thinking, let's see. It looks like we've got the netting and the cells. Looks like we've got a lot of our, let's see. These are our launchers and some of the rigging parts. Over here, it looks like we got our mast, our cell pieces, the doors to the catamaran. This is our extender and our actual catamaran arms. Let's see. Looks like we've got, oh, there's one. This is one of our catamaran pieces. Look at the detail in that, where it's got like all the salt corrosion stuff on there that looks amazing of course some peggable areas for figures there's one there's two <laughs> and of course we get like little little landings to get you up onto there that's beautifully done and a nice color and then the main event looks like our last piece here and this one has uh, some wheels on it so See if we can see, yeah, some wheels for, for moving this along. And it looks like our cell is going to go in there. The doors are going to go on top. Catamaran piece is going to go over here. This is, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Look, look, there's the little detail of the windows. If you were to go below deck, that texture is nice. And whew, I believe that's all she wrote on those pieces. So. Just to look, so I've got the Mariner here that has the, um, the motorized surfboard. And the motorized surfboard, I have it kind of setting inside that net. And if you look, I mean, it's it's huge. It's a huge, huge vehicle playset. Um, wheels on it, there's only the, the wheels on the main system. So this thing kind of rocks back and forth as you drive it across the floor, which is kind of cool. Um, there's actually there's this piece here. So if you look, he's got the footholds up here, which I dig. And then take the Mariner down. I'm gonna unhook this so you can you can actually pull the rigging and pull him up to the top and have him sit up here, which is pretty nice. Uh, now my mask doesn't. It it's not wanting to stay. It keeps clipping out and, and having some some difficulties there, but uh, bring him down. Um, you've got where you could pull this down, unhook the cell, and then you could drop the cell and everything right there in the center. I'll try to fold up the best I can to shove in there. Say we fold the deck plating there so that's down and then you've got this piece so if you just let that go pull that up and then you've got that cell that wind cell sort of thing though you might want to take this part of the rigging down because that's just so you can 
we'll flip that around and have that going while the boat's just kind of drifting along. And of course the the really cool <laughs> harpoon gun. You got these firing harpoon guns here, which I like on the back. It's got the little uh, tab here right underneath, so you could just think you no. Oh yeah, you push down on that and they fire, which is pretty cool. The the netting, I, I gotta tell you, there's a part of me that wishes instead of having the little tabs for the netting here that they would have run tabs underneath that would have been claws that turn the other way to hold that netting on because mine just feels all over the place. It doesn't actually feel like it matches up uh, correctly or well. This is such a beautiful piece and it is so it's so well put together like it's it's awesome you got ports all around this thing for people to stand you've got this beautiful like like cell work the, the way everything works together it's it's like one of the those like well thought out this actually doesn't come with it by the way it's it just seems like such a well thought out vehicle and I, I I like this a lot um, like I said it is huge so those who are wanting to put this in your collection be prepared when you take it out and you start putting it together it is um, it's like having five or six of those boxes on display like it's it's this big it's a huge huge piece so that's definitely something like now i've got to figure out where in the world i'm going to put this and i can't hang it from the ceiling because 21 inches i'm going to be rubbing my head on the bottom of this every time i pass by so it's definitely something for me to think about now uh this toy is no longer available they stopped making this years ago this was with kenner when kenner started transferring over to hasbro so with that being said it, you're going to find it really going to be at resale shops other things like that so it's something to keep in mind uh if you're going out looking for this if you happen to go out looking for this good luck with the toy hunt this episode of Teddy Ray Gun was sponsored by Marvin Dog Media to learn more about Marvin Dog Media visit www.marvindogmedia.com if you like the video be sure to hit that like button Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, comment down below to let YouTube know that you like what I'm making, and be sure to hit that bell notification so you get updates to future content.